Okay, so as you can see, top doors, the front box or front part of the box is off. Um, so this is what I did for the framing. I mean, it's it moves. It's not good. Again, I did it in quite a hurry. So you know, it is what it is. It was functional. It worked. Um, but again, it's not good enough. So we're gonna be redoing. Uh, fridge slides out, fridge is out obviously, battery still in there. As I stated in the last video, I'm having issues with that battery. While here it is two days later, the battery is dead again. Uh, so, don't know what else to say about that. Uh, it's coming along. We'll have everything off the rest, you know, here in about. 30 minutes I'll have it all complete and then get started on the build Alright guys, so that's it. Box is gone. Still got a few little whatever these things are called to do. I'm not so much worried about the holes here uh, because there will be another box and I need these holes for the electrical stuff inside the actual trailer. Um, so lots of water damage. Don't know where it was coming from other than the doors. Uh, I thought the screw holes up top where I had the pad, I thought those were leaking, but the entire top piece of plywood was dry. Um, so it wasn't coming from there. So it must have been coming from the doors. I couldn't find a seal small enough so the door didn't sit all cattywampus. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna clean it up, get all this sealant off, and sand all this down. 
Uh, probably going to sand the entire trailer, take off all the trim, and sand it all down. Put another coat of paint on. Uh, this paint did okay. Um, it's supposed to be a stain and waterproof paint. Uh, picked it up from Lowe's. It did alright. It's just washing it kind of flaked up uh, over here somewhere. But other than that, on to the next build.